Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I'm sitting under a beautiful, sacred juniper tree right now. I'm watching the wind go by and tickle the little plants on the ground and the clouds are slowly meandering along. And um, I've just been sitting here mulling over the most recent Claire Intel. And uh, so I thought I would talk a little today about the great saints uh, that have gone before us and the ascended masters, especially the, the novice ascended masters, the, the, the apprentice ascended masters that I've discussed in other blogs and the saints, the holy ones. Um, Well, to, to go back to some previous blogs, uh, I've been talking a lot about duality and polarity lately, and I've talked about um, the shadow body in people uh, along with their body of light. There's like a shadow body uh, that helps create the d duality and the polarity of the uh, third and fourth dimensions. And I've also talked about the the darkness in groups and the good the, the the light too in groups and how there's always a shadow side of, of a group because a group is composed of individuals so the shadows of all the individuals um, more or less um, equate to the shadow of the group you know and and nevertheless in most groups there's quite a bit of beautiful white light too because because the people all have their bodies of light and those contribute to the light of the group and I've talked in also in prior blogs something about the negative alien agenda and the demon world and uh, Satan and how this is the po other polarity the dark polarity and the light polarity is buddhic but that's like the Buddha and Christ consciousness and how these are very very bright they're the beautiful light that's all around our planet now that the planet has ascended and the things that are clearing away are the darkness or lightening up shall we say it's lightening up and turning into the brightness of, of that which we all are right and uh, in another recent blog I've talked about the old light worker syndrome and this is the notion that those of us that have been in service for a long time to the to bring light to earth and to show the way way showers and to find the path for humanity pathfinders those those of us that have concentrated very much on the light have had to have on our in our shadow body a very dark presence that it, that that balances and polarizes the light okay so my discussion about saints and uh, novice ascended masters and who knows maybe ascended masters that are pretty high up too um, has to do with this notion of, of polarity and and uh, the shadow body now from what I can tell on the clear plane uh, what is going on is that these these very great saints with a great deal of light to whom humanity owes a very great deal because of the the inspiration that their lives provide they they're um, if they haven't reincarnated they're existing in a very high level of the astral plane some say way up in the stratosphere of, of earth very high up in our atmosphere on the astral plane but what I found is that um, in addition to their very uh, august and inspiring presence there, there are also fractals or ghostly um, presences uh, that of them in the, even the lowest hell worlds, very low, 
that are like uh, the lost children of the soul that I've spoken of, the little body elementals that are enclosed and encapsulated and unable to dissolve because they're, the thought that they embody, the feeling that they embody is so far different from the light of the main body of light of these great ones. And so the, the light, the, the presence of the fractal like ghosts and, and memories of these saints and ascended masters in the lowest uh, astral planes um, can be very, very dark indeed, okay? Very, very dark to, to balance out their very, very bright presence in the highest astral planes. Right, so that's that's part of the news. And so the reason I, I've known this for some time now, but the reason that I've delayed in talking about it is that I usually don't write about things that I can't, uh, don't talk about things that I can't think of something constructive to say about in terms of how we should deal with it as humanity. And so uh, just last night, there was a big, uh, one of Judy Satori's um, broadcasts, her free summer school broadcasts was on, and those are always very well attended on the astral plane, and there tends to be quite a commotion afterwards on the astral plane because the light that's brought in during those, the light that's brought into Earth and, and grounded in Earth, uh, results in a kind of a chaotic, like, changing up and switching around on the astral plane. And so last night was no exception. In fact, the proportions of the commotion were almost Mahabharata style. <laughs> and so it's a good thing I've been through quite a few of these before. And so I know that, that when the light changes, the, 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 the ghosts, for instance, the fractals tend to get very upset and disturbed and it's almost like a solar flare coming in. In fact, last night there was an, uh, um, the KP index did change to yellow. I think that's four, KP four. And, um, and I think that had to do with Judy's show and just, I, you know, a lot of things combined to make, um, to make the, these changes or sometimes these changes in the uh, KP index, which means like the excitation of the atmosphere, <laughs> you know. So in other words, it's possible that the ghost did it, who knows? <laughs> you can come up with your own ideas on that. But the ghosts were pretty upset last night and they were just going around, you know, and carrying on. And so the thing to do when, for instance, we recognize that these are the, these are the, um, the injured, uh, repressed, um, uh, wounded, soul wounding fragments or of, of those great saints and teachers and, uh, and, and ascended masters, what we have to do is not relate to them as if they were the teacher, but relate to them as if they were the teacher's little, little children, little lost children that need to find their way back, you know. And, uh, and so let us not, like, take instruction from the wounding, you know. <laughs> we have to make some distinctions. There are cases on the astral plane uh, that I've read about, and I, I believe these to be true from experience, but clearly uh, I hear things that I, that, and I don't see things that well. But Claire, audiently, I, would, I can confirm that there are cases of people on the, uh, who are, have passed on and are on the astral plane who, uh, you know, eventually the, the astral um, form is dropped away. It drops away and people uh, are left with their mental bodies and their souls and then they go into a kind of a long, deep sleep and teaching period. Sometimes in the past it used to be a thousand years and the astral form just, just sort of floats around the discarded astral form just kind of floats around on the astral plane. And sometimes demons will slip, or imps, nature, nature spirits, with whose intention may be at best neutral with regard to humankind, will slip into these, these discarded astral form, forms and, and parade around in the astral plane trying to play tricks on humans. 
right? And in, in the worst cases, these are malicious spirits that are actually trying to harm humans by pre pretending to be people that they used to know. Now, one of the worst possible instances of this is when uh, a great saint or, or, or spiritual teacher or ascended master's astral form it lies dormant on the, on the astral plane is, and is taken up by a malicious spirit. Okay, so those who are used to receiving instruction from, from their, their pa spiritual teacher who has passed on, who have been taught for a long time by that teacher, for instance, and, and there are many cases like this all over the world, many, many cases where, where teachers have been in touch with their students for a long, long time, uh, may find right now imposters in that role. So, so what we have to do is we have to look at the, the, the emotional tone of what's being said and decide whether, this is, whether or not this is the true thing, whether this is the, the real McCoy, whether this is really a high spiritual teaching or this is an imposter, you know. And so at this interval, as the the, um, the commotion that's happening is is reaching the stratosphere right now, the very high parts of, of the of the atmosphere, when there are solar flares and so forth, and also there's all the the ghosts the ghosts who aren't really sentient at all, all the fractals are stirring about, like you can imagine seaweed waving, you know, in a in a deep deep sea, and um, and so. Our job during these times of like uh, astral bewilderment and upset, our job is to maintain our own pranic t energy, our own pranic tube energy, not to relate to anyone else, but to put ourselves in touch with our own higher selves. All right. Most of us, our awareness is in the third and fourth dimension right now. But according to Judy Satori, we have, who's in touch with the Galactic Council, okay? We have um, 12 formed dimensions, 12 formed shapes, three and four. After that, there's eight more. There's eight more higher selves within the formed uh, realm that we could get to know and relate to at these times. So, so let us place our our energy on our own soul remembering and that will allow these great saints and these great teachers and these great ascended masters to to work with their own fractals and their own like um, integrations because they are still almost all all in almost all cases on the higher fourth dimension sometimes as and then as they integrate all their fractals, they move into the fifth or sixth dimension, I believe. Okay, that's how it seems to me. So, but they cannot do that if we are pestering them with our own fractals, you know, because those ratchet, our, ours ratchet against theirs, all right? So, so let us incorporate our own um, body elementals that are wounded, our own soul wounding. Let us, let us discover our higher selves and let us do that work that is pertinent just to us okay i think that will help it will help all of them they have a monumental task before them of incorporating the very great very uh, dense like highly compressed little bubbles of of wounded body elementals that are that are shadowing about in the in Hades right into their extremely bright bodies of light that's what I think and and also if those um, if those uh, those like ghostly presences begin to sound more and more intelligent more and more animated that's because that is happening that is what's happening and when they reach a certain state they're going to get to the point where they can resume a relationship with the main soul with the with and become a unified soul field so all's well all's going fine a few things to look out for take care everybody talk to you later bye bye <laughs>